welcome to day 44 where the author the other the poet emphatically says don't worry as long as you cling on to ragunatha ragunayaka then he shall protect you from all the worries and miseries of this materialistic world so here he says dehe rakshana karane yala kela parishe vadim kala gobo ne gela kari re mana bhakti ya ragavachi ude antarim sod chinta bhavachi and then he doesn't stop there he continues bhavacha bhaye kada bhito salandi darim re mana dhira dhakasi sandi ragunayaka sarika swami shire tusekshi kada kopalya dandadari so nupekshi kada kopalya dandadari is is ee mana see there is one day that is ultimate for all of us where dandadari kam dandadari means a person with yama pasha in hand that is lord yama is going to come and take us off isn't it so he says at that time we not fear because ragunatha is there with us so here he says darire mana dhira daaki sa sandi this behold and remove all the dreadful thought in the mind not only that is this bhavacha bhaye kaaye bito salandi he says oh covered mind why are you afraid bhaye afraid kaya for what are you afraid oh coward mind are you afraid of bhavachya means the cycle of birth and death that keeps on going on and on is worldly life you see my dear friends understand birth and death here i am not speaking about the birth which has taken place and after some years we we die every moment there is birth there is death fear is death i am telling you insecurity is death cowardness is death this is why do you every second why are you worried of that dari mana dhira da ki sab is is oh mind keep courage dhakasi treat and give up he says have courage your mind be bold how you can be bold ragunayaka si ne ragunayaka sari ke he says means as long as you are with the lord of shri ram sire for friend he will be with you the moment you think of him he will be in front of you so any challenges it has to touch you it has to pass through him then he says nupeshi kada kopalya dandadari then why do you worry of that only when you die you are going to take birth is in the day there is no death no birth he is a gunayaka is there dehe rakshana karane yatna kela he says why are you putting so much of effort for deha rakshana karane for keeping the body uplift and protected understand here please when he says dehe rakshana karane yatna kela why are you here is not 
to be mistaken that the author is asking you to give up the bodily care understand of course he continues pari shevatim kala go very gail he says hey, however in the end that takes away the body the body goes with that pari shevati in the end kala kala here means that that as we have seen dandadari he comes when dandadari comes what does he do he takes away the soul when he takes away the soul what will happen to the body the body will be left behind and what will the people around you will do with the body based on your tradition they will culminate it isn't it either in fire or to the earth or on the trees to the birds or into the rivers for the aqua a life force to eat whatever it is based on there so at the end body is going to go off why do you have to take so much care of that he says karire mana bhakti ya ragavach oh mind means of taking so much of care on the body he says varshe brahma then what happens pude antari sondi chitta bhavashi so he says pade antare antare means in the heart inside abandon the worry of rebirth and here is this ragunayaka sarike he says and abandon this worry of rebirth and recycle and cling on cling on to ragunayaka who is going to protect you at all times now this sentence i see a lot of people you know they mistake this sentence saying that god you see the great uh, scholars of your and rushis and munis is they say that don't take care of the body it's of you no you think of only ragu nayaka the nivandi dandadari cannot do anything and bhavachi rebirth is not there that becomes uh, what he call totally you know you should understand the limits of the poet bhavachya the cycle of birth why to fear is yes, all this said but understand only when you have a good sound body and mind you will be in a position to tread the path of wisdom and knowledge viveka and vairagya so here you are not supposed unnecessarily what you call that trouble the body as the saying goes a great uh, philosopher swami shivananda ji of the divine life of society he says eat a little drink a little sleep a little ke lete do asana a little pranayama he continues he says to be successful the body has to be maintained and to maintain the body you have to eat little good nutritious food drink little do asana a little do pra- not that you spend 10 hours in a gym and go for a six pack that pack is not required for us at the same time family pack is also not required for us a big belly you know and no maintain a trim healthy body without any numbness or pain anywhere no headache no fever eat at proper intervals small small quantities of food do everything little little in moderation that is the highlight moderation that is the right word moderation is the highlight be moderate in everything socialize talk to people not gossip talk limited essential the rest of the time spend on sri ram how to spend just yes, sing the glories ramachandra raguvira ramachandra nadi so today in the description i'll try to send that eat a little drink a little by swami shivanand that's a very good composition
that gives us the total uh, moral of life as to how we have to moderate and maintain the body for attaining the most desirable goal yesterday we have seen that isn't it if uh, you remember correct the object to be attained and there you are desirable more desirable most is the most desirable object to be attained by the most agreeable means for that body is required a sound mind is required and will moderately maintain everything and invest more time on raghuvira so till we meet next keep singing this time sweeps away kings and bars well, this understand time sweeps everybody off what remains is only that absolute self so with this i conclude this year thanks for being with